Hey guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the finale of Hanamanagatari. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> let's see how this one ends. Hmm? And it would be right there in the middle of her room. I mean, damn, can you imagine if it was red? Girl. <laughs> Something else. Okay, well, shit, I wasn't expecting the monkey face or the devil face to be there. Like, no. Okay, Ocean is now if you're gonna make it an appearance today, twentieth of April. I mean, damn, you couldn't have bought it back in a box. I mean, shit. No. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm ready to take this out. And of course, because that's what she wants. See, but you say that, but you're just as weak as much as anyone else. You've had a bad life, and you think this thing is going to change you?
Wanna get the head? Okay. I mean that sounds fair though. Mm -mm. You ain't got no other choice. Uh true. Yeah, she might end up kicking ass. I mean, you know, but I mean, this is confident when Roka we talking about. I mean, shit. Y'all about to see me how I was when I was in fucking middle school playing basketball. <laughs> and how my father received the yell at my ass. Well, it was not only my father, my fucking coach, who I couldn't fucking stand. Uh. Yeah, see, that's game face right there. You know, you'd be like, fuck it, let's just go. to be different. And if you score very square, you win. Mm, it does. But Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. <laughs> 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 
You can't just. Oh shit. You're probably good. Is there a reason why she was struggling like that? That's true. But then, okay, hold up. Here's the one thing I want to know. Why doesn't Kambadu just tell her that she's dead? Is she possibly not going to believe her or some shit like that? Because, I mean, there's been shows in the past that I've seen where someone had told them that and they don't really believe them until, like, probably with the last few episodes when they finally realize themselves, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, you might as well. We, we, you know, this is why, in a way, you need to win. So you can just go ahead and fucking tell her. Or you can just tell her now before you two, you know, do this out one on one, probably kick her ass. And then she might have sent from that. You never know. I'm not even going to question the water around there. That, that's probably holy water. Girl, I mean, because the fact is, this water is every fucking where. They're gonna slip and fall on that shit. I mean, you know, she could just go ahead and just, like, you know, free pro it right then and there and not be a point in this she automatically wins, but it's a little too easy. Oh, no, she gonna do it? Oh, okay! <laughs> So smart. See, of course, her fucking ass would be like, "Yep, no, it's not that easy." Mm.
I kind of know that feeling, but not really. His teammates used to pass me the ball too damn much. Yeah, because there ain't no iron team! And that's sad. You could have been like, even though possibly you would have never, never been able to play again. You could have been great. But. With the stuff that you were dealing with, with school plus home, it was too much for you. Is your let's be honest coming out? Time. That makes sense. Another one of your mom's favorites close. <laughs> oh, finally?
Yeah, just be yourself. Bury them, maybe? Okay. I'm not even going to say anything about it. I'm just going to shut up. Maybe. <clears throat> we'll probably understand why they said certain things to us when we were all kids later on when we're adults, but you know, now not so much. Oh, you're gonna cut your hair too? Okay. Even though it was pretty when it was long. Right. But she went to change. You could just put it in a ponytail. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You did the right thing. That too. It's just about what you think is right at the end of the day.
God, I don't even know what else to say about this. But I mean, it, it went by quick and then a little bit slow at times. It's sweet, though. But I think for Kamaru, this is something that I've wanted for her for such a long time. I mean, going back to the point where, like, for Hanekawa, Sanjohara, and everybody else, how it's the girls doing shit by themselves, and Agai Kun, he's more of the side character, it still felt like that. Wasn't really expecting him to be in this very last episode, but it was a nice thing, you know, for the last arc of this second season ending it off and going on to this last season i would have loved oshino's niece nephew nephew niece to make one more appearance but i'm guessing you know it couldn't happen so hopefully he or she they appear in this last season starting up but i mean i liked it it was nice and i'm glad she gets to move on from this and I honestly cannot wait to see whatever the hell is going to happen next with her. I don't know who would possibly be like the next focus. I feel like they might do it. Um, one of two things maybe might happen. We might get another flash forward to somebody. It could be maybe Kamaru again, maybe Sinjohara. She's maybe on like her last year of college or something, or Hanakawa. Um, maybe Mayoi, even though Mayoi is gone. But I, I don't know. It, it can literally be any freaking person, but they're probably not going to give us a fucking thing for it. Are you? No, you're not. So it's just a big old thing. I ain't going to know until whatever the next Monogatari freaking show I have next after this, because I really don't remember. All I know is it's the third damn season, and I think the third season is the longest season of the series. But, I mean, yeah, it was a nice fitting end. I'm glad that um, Roka was able to move on in a way, because it felt... I think if they would have ended this episode with her not moving on, I probably would have been like, what the fuck? But to make it be like a basketball game and them to just do it for like one last time for two different things. One, somebody wants it for a head. The other one wants it kind of, but just for her to stop looking for things and just, I mean, we already knew that comedy was going to win no matter what because comedy, but like to know the fact that yes, she was jealous of her. And it makes me wonder like if, it's like the what if moments. If you could just turn back time and go to the moment where everything for Roka just one by one just snapped for her. Her not being able to play basketball anymore. Her parents, you know, fighting at home. Any other dramas that she had to deal with inside school, outside school, whatever. That day where she decided that she was going to go ahead and kill herself. If you could possibly go back in time and stop her from that moment. Who knows what possibly could happen? Because this is the same situation on when fucking Shinobu and Agaragi went back in time for freaking um for Mayoi and how that affect everything so you got to think about it if it possibly happened with Roka so many other things almost like a butterfly effect possibly would have happened and then it would have been the space-time continuum bullshit Dr. Who up in this bitch and I think it would have um maybe it would have caused a bigger mess than it, than it was supposed to be but eventually yeah Comedy would have had to go back in time. This is that and the third, yada, 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 bullshit and everything just to fix it. But I'm glad this was able to happen. I mean, this made me, this arc really made me like Comedy a lot more than I did essentially in the beginning because I think the first, like, <laughs> learning about her and especially her freaking monkey paw, I was like, I was a little taken back to her. I don't want to say she's my least favorite girl um, because at first I really just, dis- I didn't kind of mesh with her, connect with her in a way like I did with the other girls. But I think when we were almost done with her first arc and then getting to see her again, I was like, okay, now I'm slowly like getting to know you a little bit more. I I can feel something like a connection where I can kind of like say, okay, yeah, now nah, I started like you. And then by the end of this, I really, truly liked her more as a character. So whoever is freaking next, I can honestly say that I am ready to just see who the fuck it is. I cannot wait to see what the hell is going to happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards this series, Hanamanaga today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for whatever series is next because i don't really remember but until then i will see you guys all next time bye